Hey folks, this is Vent with Ads Gaming Addiction, and today we're going to quickly check out Godhood. This is a game that you can find on Steam for about 27 bucks. So I went into this game expecting something like Populous. Populous being an older city builder god game where you were the god and you got to shape the terrain and you couldn't control your units directly, but they would construct houses and castles and so on. And you would be doing war against another warring faction. It's kind of like an RTS, kind of, sort of. I didn't get that here. I was expecting it, but I didn't get it. Instead, I got some sort of roguelite auto battler. Think Domina, but with religion? It's weird. So, what are you doing in this game? Well, you start off with just... Uh, you, first, you choose a religion. And it's going to be like war, peace, chaos, whatever. And each one has a different difficulty associated with it. And then the religion that you choose will sort of shape the skills and the classes that you're going to have access to and unlock and all that. But anyway, you start off in this like empty land and you've got like one, I think one, two or three people, something like that. And you're going to be using money that you earn to construct buildings. And these buildings will help your people grow. You're also going to be earning offerings. Offerings can be spent as, like, one-time bonuses to help improve a character. Uh, the game is turn-based, so oftentimes you'll be telling, I want you to train in charisma. I want you to train in health. I want you to train in knowledge. And the reason why you're training in these various attributes is because the skills that you're using will give you, well, they, they require certain attributes. So this skill might give you a bonus if you've got high morale or a high, high morale bonus or high knowledge bonus bonus, whatever. So you want to train your people in this in the attributes that are appropriate to the skills that they are using. And that's where the learning curve kicks in. It's like the game doesn't help you at all figure out what it is you're supposed to do, how to do it. And it's overwhelming, to be honest with you. Um, I have yet to really figure it out. I've been playing it for an hour and a half and I'm on the second map. Um, I beat the first one. And it's just, it's getting harder and harder, and I'm, I'm not sure if I'm doing the right thing or not. Um, I don't know if I'm training my people in the right, the right attributes. I'm looking at their skills. I'm going, okay, um, this skill needs knowledge, so I'm going to go ahead and train them in knowledge. Uh, this skill needs this. I want to go and train them in morale or charisma, whatever. So I'm doing that. And I, I think I've got a somewhat of a handle on that, but then the game throws these other things at me, and I just don't know what to do with them. So I just want to warn you folks, there is a bit of a learning curve with this one. And the reason why I said it was a auto-battler roguelite, because this game does not let you control battles whatsoever. Um, the battles will commence automatically. It's a three versus three, based on what I've seen so far. You choose three of your followers, and supposedly... You know, you can chain off each other, but I haven't figured out yet how to do that. Like, what, what characters to choose, what skills to choose that will bounce off each other. I haven't figured that out. But you can choose three people, and you'll go against three people. And you're going to be trying to get your support. Uh, there, there's, like, a tug-of-war bar. And the first person to get to, like, 50 or 75 or 100 points will win that battle. You don't have to knock them out. You just have to get enough support from... The crowd that's watching you. Your your ultimate objective is to get followers, and if you can get more followers than the enemy, uh, and get so many by certain by, before the round is over, before the before the battle is over, over like four turns, then you win. Okay, so that's what you're doing. But again, it's you don't control any of it. You just watch the. You can fast forward. They automatically attack and. Whether or not you win is determined by the characters that you pick and how leveled up they are and what skills they're using versus the skills that you're facing. There are some other things that, um, they're like there's something called dream points, which I have yet to figure out, but apparently dream points can be spent to um, give a one-time bonus to one of your characters before the battle starts to help you defend against like physical attack or um, like morale attack. There's, like, two main attacks in this game. It's physical and, and like, spiritual slash morale kind of thing. So, yeah, it's... And then it, it's like a road light in the sense that, you know, more than likely you're just going to keep failing over and over and over again until you get used to the how the game is played, until you quote-unquote get good. 
I hate when people use that term, but that's that's what you're going to be doing. You're going to have to keep playing this to figure out, okay, this is how the game is played, A. Okay, now that I've got that figured out, what do I, what combination of people do I use? And how do I use them effectively against the team that I'm fighting? How do I level, how, what buildings do I construct first? This building will give me a bonus to charisma uh, to whenever I train in it. So maybe I should build that first because I've got two followers that need charisma. Um, so you're going to be making these decisions, learning these things as you play. More than likely, you're going to lose your first couple of times out because you don't know what you're doing. And then when you finally get to a point where you know what you're doing, you know, maybe the game might actually feel enjoyable to you. But at this point in time, I'm having a hard time sticking with it. Just because there are other games in my library that keep me engaged from the start. It actually, I, it, it, like for example, Halcyon 6 Starbase Commander is a sci-fi space station building game where you, it's like an RPG where you're building up crew members, you've got ships, and there's battles, you control them, but you also have skills that you can assign to them and, and level them up and stuff like that. I was engaged from the first second I started playing it up to when I either lost or won. This game, it's like I'm playing it and I'm like, I don't know what's going on. Nothing makes sense. I'm kind of having fun, but not really. All I'm doing is I'm leveling up people. I'm, I'm spending time leveling up people and then I'm going off into battle. And then I come back. Then I'm leveling up more people. Then I'm off the battle, which I can't control. I'm just watching. I come back, level up more people, go back off the battle. If I want to play something like that, I'd rather play Domina or... Uh, uh, like I said, Halcyon 6 Starbase Commander. Th th those games make more sense to me than this one does. Um, this one, like I said, has a learning curve that I don't know if I really want to take the time to, to really get into. Um, and I consider myself casual, so take that for what you will. You hardcore players out there may go, well, this is a challenge, and I like challenges, so maybe I'll do that. There are some other things to this game that I didn't get to. Um... But the general gameplay flow is you've got 15 days to get to the last boss on the island that you're on. To do that, you have to go from point A to point B to point C to point D to point E to the boss before the time limit expires. And in between, you're building a society, you're constructing buildings, you're spending your money and your offerings, you're leveling up your people in specific attributes. Um, you can perform miracles, which will improve them further. Um, there's other things that will improve your people further, but I just don't remember them off the top of my head. And you're just hoping that you level them up enough to, to where you can just keep progressing throughout the game. That's what I got out of it so far, out of the hour and a half that I've played it so far. Um, again, there are some other concepts that I haven't learned and just don't understand yet. And I think that's important to convey, especially when there are other games on the market that you, un you, can, you can understand them as you're playing it and you get it. Like, some games are just easier to get, and they're fun. Whereas this game is, yeah, it's okay, but it's hard for me to really get into and understand. So, I just want to convey that. I'm having a tough time with this one. It's not bad, but at the same time, whether or not I want to take the time to learn it when I've got all my all those other choices in my library, that's, that's going to be a different story. I'm not saying don't buy it. It's just, it's got a $27 price tag. Ugh, I, I ugh, I'd rather play... Um, I'd rather play something that was cheaper. I think Halcyon 6, uh, was a lot cheaper than that. I think it's like 15 bucks. So I, I, all things considered, I would rather play that than play this. And, um, you know, it looks like Steam might actually somewhat agree with me. There was mixed reviews on it. Some people are actually complaining about the difficulty and the learning curve and just other people said it didn't really resonate with them. And I, that I can... I can understand that. It doesn't resonate with me either. Yes, there's a bit of strategic depth to this. It reminds me a bit of uh, that game Renowned Explorers. That's another game I played but didn't really fully understand as I was playing it. It just didn't click with me because there were a lot of hidden concepts, a lot of hidden behind-the-scenes stuff going on, calculations that I just didn't want to be bothered learning because I, either I didn't have the time or I just didn't, it didn't appeal to me. So, I mean, if, if you liked games like Renowned Explorers that were tough to play and learn, then you'll like this one too. If you didn't like Renowned Explorers, then more than likely you won't like this one either. I would play go I would go play something else. But that's my two cents, take it for what you will.
If you guys haven't already subscribed to me on Twitch and YouTube, that way you can stay up to date with any new content I've been to publish. This is Vince, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.